first Wednesday of the month, and I am your host of Let's Talk Business with Cheryl J. Cuso. I'm excited to be here today. I'm excited to be here anytime that we have the opportunity to come and share with you. We know that this is just a blessing, and we're able to connect and bring information that we feel is going to be very, very impactful to our community and that's what happens every Wednesday at 1231. Today, we are coming to you live at about 103 p.m. Thank you to those of you. Oh, look at our viewers already. Thank you, thank you, thank you to our Facebook family. We can never, ever say thank you enough. We appreciate what you do. We appreciate the support. What happens on the first Wednesday of the month? Our guests probably don't know. But normally on the first Wednesday of the month, we do the Blueprint Report with Mr. Derek Blue, the THAP Group CEO. And usually he's laying out a plan for what's happening here on the THAP campus, 5508 campus. But we have two of his very special guests today. So I'm going to send my phone around but however facebook family please know that you can catch the show in its entirety go to n-touchnews.com and you'll be able to pick up the show we will then air what we are seeing today later this afternoon but right now what you're looking at is our live rendition on our smartphones so I'm going to turn my phone around because we are grateful to have in the In Touch News Radio studio, Mrs. Monica Herrera. Thank you, thank you, thank Can you, thank you so much for inviting well, us. And then, yeah, see, that's how we do it here. Yeah. We are just so happy to have you here. And then I'm going to pan around so that you can see um, her outreach specialist, and that's Mr. Charles Ware. Yeah. How y'all doing? Hello, hello. Now, they're not going to be able to respond back to you because we are on Reality Radio. So, Ms. Herrero has joined us as the one of the subsidiaries of the THAP group, correct? Yes, and it is correct. And if I'm not mistaken, that puts you under the Synergy umbrella? Yes. Synergy Healthcare? Synergy Health Center. And you are the director? I am. So why don't you tell us first a little bit about your position okay. as as the director for the Synergy Group, which is one of the arms of the FAP Group. Yeah, for those that don't know, um, Synergy Health close Center into the mic. Um, is one of the um, companies under the FAP Group. Uh, we are on Martin Luther King, 318 um, is um, Dr. Martin Luther King, and um, it's the Synergy Health Center. So everything related to health, that's the place that you need to go. Um, we have different programs. We've been working in this um, community for almost 45 years now. Wow. Yes, yes. And we have um, different programs. We have a uh, um, focus for people that are low income and um, okay. minorities, African American and Hispanic population. Okay. Yes. Awesome. So we have um, the testing department, um, HIV, STIs, and pregnancy. All the services are free, of course. And we have um, the, um, a minority ACE initiative. We have the pharmacy program. And we have our new program, <laughs> the Plus Me Project. Yay! Oh, yeah, 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 yes! But listen, I, I'm really excited to hear about the Plus Me Project. But what I wanted to find out, I heard you say something. Synergy Health uh -huh. Care has uh -huh. been in existence for over 45 years? 35. 35. 35. That's still a long yes. time. Three decades. Yes, yes, yes. We have, um, that's the profession building. And then, yes, we've been uh, yeah, around the, the, the whole community for um, 35 years. That's a years. long time. Congratulations. Is, now, is, you're, you mentioned you were on um, Dr. ML King uh -huh. Boulevard. But what's that cross street? Martin Luther King is, is that um, Central or uh, Central and uh, Seven. Uh, 
my God. Um, okay, so in Seminole Heights, though. Yes, yes, Okay, yes. so I, I can never Between remember Between Nebraska and Florida, those are the biggest. Those are two good ones, yes, then. Yes, so yes. you'll get to Nebraska first, but if you've mm -hmm. gone to Florida, you've gone too far. Yes. But I know it's a white building. It sits mm -hmm. on the north side of the road. It is. Okay, it is awesome. really close to the 275 exit. Uh -huh. Okay, Martin perfect. Martin Luther King exit. And what are your hours? We are there from 9 to 5. If nine for testing is 9 to 1, um, Monday to Friday, um, but if you need uh, other services besides testing, we're, going to, uh, we're there from 9 to 5. 9 to 5. Well, that's the beauty. Charles, I see your phone over there. Mine seems to be going through a disconnect, and <laughs> so hopefully it'll mm -hmm. come back on. But if you would, I don't know if I'm your friend yet, but I know you could tag um, Monica and myself, tag us, and we'll be able to play catch up for this particular device that's not working. Great information, a full service healthcare center. Oh, and we are back. <laughs> a full service healthcare center? We are the specialty care. Oh, okay, the, specialty mm -hmm. care. Yeah, so we are more focused in the um, um, our community that are living with HIV. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Well, that's important to know, is, and I heard you mention pregnancy, and that's certainly one of the one of the causes um, that can. And you'll talk about some of the, the the different types of situations and problems that we have when we talk about the the Plus Me project. But Plus Me is something that's new, and we'll talk about that in detail. But so that our radio listening audience can really grasp and and, and wrap an arm around all that you do. So you talked about being able to be a full service specialty clinic can a person just walk in off the street into the clinic yes yes okay. walking out yes because we have again we have the testing part that is um for free so and education of course so everything related to uh, you know uh, those tests or uh, if they want to you know we always always work Always if we don't welcome. have the information, we're going to find it for you. I mean, I mean, no, we're no, don't. Mm -mm. Our, <laughs> our, said, our mm -mm. no, our doors are always open. <laughs> I, I like that. I appreciate that. And I want you to kind of stay very, very close to the to the microphone because you all are giving out some great information. When people hear free, and if you're if you know of family members and they need some some testing for for HIV, you're saying that your doors are open. You you also mentioned education. Yes. And so if if I, if a person comes to your facility, mm -hmm. they are what filling out information to make sure that they qualify. Um, well, when we talk about education, of course, um, um, we're talking about um, people that don't know anything about, you know, um, the HIV, the transmission, okay. or the, even pregnancy or the STIs and how you get a test and, you know, and, and, and not only for, you know, the testing part, but for the whole community, any kind of resource, we can go through the, you know, and, and find an answer for you or for whoever is uh, and so as a, as, a, as a strong arm of the THAP group, Synergy Healthcare recognized a, a void in the community, as you mentioned, some 35 years ago, and decided to do something about it. How is Synergy funded, or, or do you know? We have a different uh, funds. Um, we have uh, uh, grants under the Florida Health Department. Okay. We have grants under Gilead, the pharmaceutical. Oh, Gilead. Uh, so, We're going to be yes. talking about them. So what we do is that we apply, you know, SAMHSA depends, you know, of the grant that we want because it's everything under, you know, grants. Mm -hmm. So it's important for the community to know the services that are being offered to families, family members. How do people find out about Synergy? Um, well, I can give you my phone number. You can call me, <laughs> website, um, you know, just w passing by. Just I mean, passing by on Dr. Yeah, MLC. Facebook. I mean, I mean, okay. all the social, uh, yes. So I know information is here on the 5508 campus. Um, about Synergy and about some of the programs, but you all are not housed here on the campus. So that being said, they can come to your facility. Yes. 
you're open five days a week yes. and people are just curious or uncertain and need to know information about HIV. Well, let's take a turn and, and let's back this train up just a little bit because I notice in our culture or just in conversation in general, people will often kick around acronyms, terms like HIV, or you'll see it in print, HIV slash AIDS. But rarely ever do you hear an individual actually explain what the acronym stands for and what it is. And I think, and this is just me personally, that, oh, and then there was light in Gilead. <laughs> but what, what I think is important is oftentimes lack of knowledge is what scares people. So we walk around and we talk about HIV almost so common but if you ask the average person what is hiv and first of all why don't we educate our radio listening audience and let them know what that acronym stands for and 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 charles you let me know when you're ready to chime in we want to know the acronym for hiv because someone said that they didn't even realize that aids a i d s was an acronym and it is. It's all with capital letters. Yes. Right. Always, all capital all, letters. All. And so since part of what Synergy does is to offer education and an informed consumer is an educated consumer. And, and so let's talk about this. HIV. First, the acronym. Human Immunodeficiency. Vitals. So, and if you all didn't quite get that, because we've got to get Monica I'm to come sorry. in a little closer <laughs> to the microphone. H, human. Uh -huh. One way to remember that. The I, immunodeficiency. And then you talked about the V, Vi virus. It is. Mm -hmm. And there's certain things that happens in your body. When we had Dr. Shane Davis on to the show, and she's going to be working with the, the Synergy Health Plan. And, and one of the things that she was talking about and what she <laughs> focused on was educating the community. So when we are loosely kicking around terms, let's take a moment, back this up, and explain what that is. So when we hear the term HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, that's part one. So when we're talking about it, we can break down human. That's us, that's a human being. When you have an immunodeficiency, what's really happening in your body? Okay, so this virus um, attacks the immune system. And the immune okay. system is the one that fights for your disease, infectious yes. and everything. Yes. So when that system is, um, you know, um, at risk, mm -hmm. at risk you're, um, that person is going to be, um, Going to get more infections so everything um, more often and more strong yes so, so stronger. when that mm -hmm. immune system and we're talking about the your, your cells and when that system begins to break down you don't have your guard to fight anymore you don't have the stronger cells to be able to come in and combat whatever may have affected the body at that time and when you're talking about a virus then that virus is something that's going to attack not just one cell but many cells and once it begins to take over your body can no longer fight you don't have the, the immune system there that's strong enough in order to fight off whatever that virus is. And so your immune system becomes weakened and a, a weakened immune system continues to break down. So you're talking about HIV, you're talking about the, the virus. And so when that system gets to a certain point to where you can no longer fight, then what happens? Well, so, um, well, we always, always want them is to start, you know, take the meds. So since your body is going to feel, you know, weak and everything, the meds are going to help to fight for, you know, the infections or whatever. And, and I'm glad you brought, brought meds up and we're still talking about defining in our community what HIV is. I remember reading two articles and they go back years ago, maybe 2009, in the early uh, mid 2000s, when Magic Johnson and the Olympian swimmer, um, Lou and his last name, I want to say, begins with a G. It'll come to me in just a second. But here's what they said, because people say, how are you able to live today and, and, and be 
strong, vibrant, don't even look like you, you have any kind of diseases or anything that's wrong with your body. And they both said the same thing. And they said, once they received the diagnosis, now mind you, back then we didn't have the meds or what they call the, the cocktails, mm -hmm. but both of them said it was the medication taking the cocktails is what allowed them to even be standing today. So they no longer focus on the fact that they were diagnosed with HIV. So having broken down what the H and the I and the V stand for, we're going to take a break with Monica and Charles, and we're going to come back and speak now on part two of the HIV slash AIDS. So right after the break. So thank you, Facebook family, for tuning in. Archie with Tayo Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Been in a car crash? Call Ricky. Don't know what to do? Ask Ricky. We will connect you with a lawyer and doctor experience in auto accident injuries. Call Ricky at 844-361-7425. After an auto accident, you have 14 days to seek medical attention. You may be in pain. So call Ricky, ask Ricky for your best options. 844-361-7425. Call Ricky, ask Ricky is a legal and medical referral service. The lawyers in our network pay to receive referrals. And AIDS. And this is a part of the Thap Group subsidiary arm, which is Synergy. And it's important for us to have them on. Derek Blue has been providing the blueprint for us from the very, very beginning of our show. And the FAP Group is a sponsor of today's show. One of the things that Derek Blue wanted the community, our radio listening audience, to know, some of the programs that's being provided here, not just on the 5508 campus, because the FAP Group has been involved in a lot. If we go back to some of the history, they've built homes, they have a weatherization program, they have now the entrepreneurial campus, and you all are educating us and giving us a little bit of the blueprint about the Synergy Healthcare. And at the end, uh, right before the commercial break, we were talking to you about the program that's housed in a white building on Dr. M.L. King in between Nebraska and Florida Avenue on the north side of the street. You heard it here, and you heard it first, that Monica Herrera said if you have questions, if you need um, answers to information about HIV and AIDS, you can come to the facility from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. And there's an educational piece where they can sit down and, and speak with a, a counselor. She gave us the information. She described for us what that acronym stood for. She broke down the importance of understanding what happens when your immune system begins to, to break down and can no longer fight. And if, and if my memory serves me correct, there are two important type of cells in the immune system that are affected when the HIV virus begins to attack that body. And I believe it's a C... D4, and when those cells begin to, to break down, it's like that virus just takes over your body, and it kind of reminds me of a game we played, Pac-Man. 
Yes. And you remember you're right. in the, you remember Pac-Man and and Pac-Man would just gobble 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 up everything. Yes. And so when you're trying to think about how do we explain this to our young people so that they can actually understand what's happening, then you've got Pac-Man that has consumed a cell. It reproduces the cell and then it takes over until it just gobbles up all of your C4 cells. And now you no longer have the strength in your body to be able to fight off yeah. the, the age virus. And so those numbers become important, the C4, CD4 and then the T cells. And these are terms we hear but don't really know and don't really understand. But if we're going to have a complete understanding of what's happening with um, AIDS, what's happening with HIV, y'all got to break it down for us. Yes. So that the average person can understand. And Charles has just been sitting over there and <laughs> kind of biting at the bits. And so we're going to give you a chance because Monica explained to us about the acronym and what it means. And we want to now talk about the acronym AIDS, all capital letters, A-I-D-S. And, and I noticed something because when you, when you flip flop and you go from HIV three letters that make up that acronym, but then when you flip over to AIDS, A-I-D-S, two are combined. I don't know if you all saw that, but tell us about what A-I-D-S stands for, Charles. Autoimmunodeficiency disorder. And it becomes a syndrome, and that's what syndrome. the S takes for. And so there, the I and the D is separate, yes. but when we're talking about HIV, it's all one word. Together. Yeah, it's all together. Immunodeficiency, but then it's breaking down when you're talking about immuno stop deficiency stop syndrome. So then you come back and you say A I D S. So when you say AIDS, the A is acquired. So that means that something I've acquired something. Something outside of the body. Something outside of the body has now attacked the body so it's been acquired it's been affected yes. and you've acquired this and it has now affected your immune system and it's creating a deficiency within your system so that you're not able to fight off a lot of other bacteria and, and viruses and it becomes a syndrome because then it's now a disease and that syndrome becomes a group of, of diseases so when we talk about AIDS the term is sometimes used interchangeably, but they're totally different. Absolutely. So help us to kind of understand. A person may say, well, I have HIVs, but isn't there something else that's attached to it? Um, and I'm thinking back to some research I did years ago at my daughter's school, Middleton High School, and they were educating the, the high school students about they were concerned about a pandemic breaking out in the African-American community and AIDS was affecting the teenagers between the ages of 18 and I believe 24 and the numbers were staggering. So I certainly paid attention and wanted to learn more about it so that I can make sure that my daughter and, and her friends understood what was going on. And I'm sure you all may even talk about with the Plus Me program, how we've just become kind of complacent or have that idea, that mindset. It's not going to happen to me, but it does. It comes into all of our all of our homes. It can happen to anyone. It can happen to anyone. So we have you on Facebook, and what would you like to help us in the form of understanding the importance of AIDS, A-I-D-S, but there is a difference between the two. Well, let me start off by saying thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> Just stay right in front of that microphone, and right. we can all hear you. This is your kissing cousin right now. Get as close as you can without touching. All righty. <laughs> all righty then. But one thing I want to address is HIV turns into AIDS or the AIDS status once a person living with HIV has reached 200 or below in their immuno in there you their go. We can viral hear you. loads. So, I like that. You know you're going to have to come back and explain viral loads. So <laughs> once once their their T cell count reach below 200, okay. um, their immune system is so compromised to the point that now a second infection, anything like an mm. STI, something like uh, hepatitis, herpes, a 
another STD or right. STI that isn't curable, like gonorrhea or syphilis or things like that. Those STDs are curable with treatment once treated and properly, you know. So, well, you're using two terms here. I've heard we talked about the, the, the viral load. So yes. we definitely want you to explain that. And you're talking about treatment. And so that means you're saying some STDs, which are curable, but when we talk about AIDS, no cure. No, for AIDS, and, and to kind of finish that off, for AIDS, there is medication now, and we've came a long way from when right. the academic first started. So with improperly taking a medication, being adherent, listening to your doctor, you and your doctor communicating together, it's a great chance to become undetectable. Your immune system builds back up. The medication, once it reached the undetectable level, has suppressed the virus in your system mm. and allowed you to re recoup some of your energy, some of your scramps. A lot of your cells won't come back, but it still prevents that the virus from keep, you know, the spread and okay. end up developing. So what I'm hearing then is treatable not curable, the the meds, and that's what both the, Luganus, Luganus, I knew that name was <laughs> Greg Luganus, the mind. One, and, and they both said this too, by taking their meds, they're able to live a normal functioning life. They can go on with their life, they can go on with businesses, because it's treatable, it's treatable. not curable, but treatable. And so taking the right meds and combination of meds is what allows them to be able to live full lives. And like you say, and I believe I read in another article where um, they can go now undetected. Yes. And that's what you were trying to, to break down to us. You got to get a little closer to that microphone. See, I have just fallen in love. I'm having an affair with the microphone <laughs> because this is the only way our radio listening audience is going to hear us. But, Charles, before you come back and talk to us about what's treatable and, and what's not, let me remind our radio listening audience we're talking about HIV and AIDS today. We're talking about what's made available to you from the Synergy Group. But it is a call-in show. And if you have a question for our experts that are in the house talking about the programs that are being administered at the Synergy Health Group, the number is 813-444-9588. Again, 813-444-9588. 444-9588. And if you just have that burning question, you can call in and address it to Charles or you can call in and address it to Monica. But we have the camera on you, Charles. And so you wanted to go ahead and complete the thought you were bringing us up to date and talking about what happens when our immuno systems become compromised and no longer have the strength in order to be able to fight off any other type viruses and or diseases. At that point, you really want to get into treatment um, of being, you know, you're really at a state where, you know, it's, it's, it's life or death at that oh, point. You need some help. Yes. And knowing now with the treatment and the medications that we have, uh, they do have side effects, but they definitely come with a long life. Okay. We, we're finding now, you know, today that people are living much longer and much better quality lives with HIV. Awesome. So improvement they from ever some do. 30 years ago when we first started hearing about, or maybe even longer than 30 years ago, I remember when Harvard University broke the study, it was about 30 plus years ago, um, about what they were doing. Um, the disease itself happened, I'm sure, long before that. So you're talking about that and, and what happens in order to be able to live a long, sustainable life with the meds. But I also heard you mention side effects. Yes. There are side effects, and it depends on the person, the individual. There's night sweats, which that's to a minimum with uh, the medications, and they've really uh, worked hard. Gilead and other uh, pharmaceutical companies that release and treat have these medications. They've really worked hard to develop medications okay. that are quality and are assisting us in our living, you know, uh, a healthier life. And they come without, you know, as many side effects. Like I said, people can get them, like loss of appetite, okay. nauseousness, um, sleep fatigue. Any drug to 
today Absolutely. you're going to have side effects. So Absolutely. you decide if you want to adjust, live with them, or live. Yeah, and I would encourage someone to try to work past because you you begin to adjust. So at least take it, get in treatment for 30 days, take that medications, mm -hmm. try to let those side effects work their own way out. Because your body got to adjust to right. this new, you know, medications being introduced Something into your... foreign. Absolutely. So now I need to say, oh, this is going to be coming on on a daily basis, so I need to deal with this. Yes, yeah, so your body, it reboots itself. Yeah. And, it. and we it. find that people living with HIV then begin to feel that energy come back and their strength come back and okay. that the quality of their skin and their eyes and the health of their, you know, their actual physical form begins to restore itself. I can just hear in your voice the excitement. So it sounds like you've been in a position where you've helped a number of people out that have come to the, the, the clinic and you're able to share with them and help with them and you seem to be able to um, give them a level of comfort. You all are not going to believe this, but I hear the music in my ear. That means we need to take a station break and it gives us an opportunity. So you are on Let's Talk Business with SJC, and we're here with the THAP Group Arm. The program is the Synergy Healthcare, and we're here with Monica Herrero and Charles Ware, and they're talking to us today about the importance of HIV and AIDS. And I'm telling you, they are breaking it down for us. So see you back after the break. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so again, you get to tell our family. This is Agent Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecues? Come see them two brothers in the grill. Located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some. And get you a nice, smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The rib man, mama, the rib man. Hi, this is Dr. Veronica Walters, also known as Dr. V, the head of school at the Walters Academy for Entrepreneurship, a place that we like to call The Way, where we're educating today's youthpreneurs to be tomorrow's billionaires through social entrepreneurship. Do you have a student who's bored, frustrated, gifted, inquisitive, creative, business-minded? Then maybe you need to check The Way out. Listen, we have an educational platform that allows for individualized instruction. It's strength-based project-based, and designed to help your students become the absolute best they can while starting their own business and being an entrepreneur. If you're looking for something different and you need to find a more excellent way, then you need to visit us at The Way. That's The Way, www.thewaetampa.org. Or you can call us at 813-603-7923. We look forward to showing your students a more excellent way at The Way. first Wednesday of the month. My co-host is Mr. Derek Blue, who is developing another blueprint over on the other side of the bay. But what's happening today in the studio, we have as our guests, Mrs. Monica Herrera and yes. Mr. Charles Ware, and they're educating us on HIV and AIDS. And so thank you both for, for breaking it down and, and helping us. Charles, I heard you mention the term Gilead, a Baptist girl in me thinks of a song. There's a bum in Gilead. But without this information that you all are about to share with the community, there will be a bum 
And so there's going to be a bum on the 4th of oh, yes. July. Also, <laughs> so Tampa is putting on a bum festival. And so shout out to what's happening in the Tampa Bay area. And, and so since we're talking about the bum festival that's happening, let us take this opportunity to say happy Independence Day. Most of us will be celebrating on tomorrow with family and friends. But also, more important, let's remember why we celebrate Independence Day. The fact that we're able to be here in a studio today talking about life, talking about human rights, talking about the importance of what we as a country, as a nation can do. We've talked about how 4As has come from some 30, 40 years ago. We talked about the medications and how the medications have, um, have improved. But you all are coming to us today with a program coming from the Gilead company, and I'm going out here on a limb, pharmaceutical company. Yeah. Yes. All right, Monica, well, tell us a little about this amazing grant that was awarded to Synergy. Yes. That's Must be doing something right. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yes, we are. We are. So um, we applied for this grant, um, and the name of the Plus Me. Um, it's an initiative. Um, to reduce um, HIV stigma, okay. everything related to the stigma of our HIV. That's what we want. Okay, so then Synergy was awarded the grant. And I, I was sharing with them before the show, and, and I was sharing with them, and they were telling me about uh, about the Gilead Company, and I was sharing with them how the Cohen and the, the Bull Cohen families donated $1.5 million to Harvard in order to be able to educate its staff, students, faculty, community about the importance of sexual um, diseases and minorities and how it's all affected. And then you all came with some numbers that blew my mind that that 1.5 million was nothing. You mentioned numbers like $100 million? We are talking about money Wait a minute. here. Wait a minute. Where is DJ CEO? <laughs> we need a whole show. <laughs> Y'all can send a million of that over here <laughs> to, to In Touch News Radio. Yeah, so we're working, I mean, through Gilead, we're working with the south of the country. Okay, so you're taking care of the south. Uh-huh, to the south. And uh, here in Florida, we have um, only two uh, programs through Gilead, um, and we are the only program, Ooh. only program working with, in order to reduce the HIV stigma. So I'm, I'm hearing you talk about stigma, and so that we can allow our radio listening audience to understand, we've been able to break down everything else from what the acronym stand for, what it means when you are diagnosed with it, how it affects the, the immune system. But now you're talking about stigma. Uh -huh. What would you consider to be maybe the top three to five stigmas that we need to educate people on when it comes to when you first hear or learn that a person has HIV AIDS? I think that the most important to know is that um, HIV is not um, transmitted just because we're kissing and hugging or, you know, no, it's about, um, it's, um, because of sex, having sex without protection. So people need to know that, I mean, um, uh, it's not just um, we're drinking at the, about the you know with the same uh, glass of water. We no no it's uh, just transmittable because of sex um, and some body fluids. And when we're talking about body fluids, we're talking about you know same. And we're talking about blood. We're talking about um, breast milk. You know they are specifically um, so now you're body fluids. Pregnancy and yes. babies. Mm -hmm. And here in Florida, our um, um, it's, it's great um, that we uh, have uh, just um, a really, really low number for uh, people, for women that are um, positive and pregnant, oh, having babies God. negative. And that's okay. great. That's a really good um, um, information that we're working. We're doing it right here in Florida. So we have programs specifically for people, that, you know, for women, pregnant women uh, that are HIV positive. Okay. And, yeah. And um, and again, um, I think that um, education, the, the, the most, um, in order to reduce the stigma, it has to be um, to get the facts. 
And it starts in the, in the classroom. And that's what you all are offering as part of the, yes. the Plus Me. Yes. So we are educating. And we are not just um, focusing on the, uh, you know, people living with HIV. We're uh, focused with um, family, friends, okay. um even providers, you know, um, more doctors around uh, the whole Hillsborough County. So it's not just uh, focusing on people that are living with HIV. It's more open, it's, uh, you know, so to the whole community. So you're the taking the holistic approach. So when a person is diagnosed, one of the things also that Dr. Shawnee Davis was talking about is how, and she mentioned the um, LBGTQ mm-hmm. and that um, it's important for physicians to let the community know that they are a friendly type of medical practice and that's how you will know when you're looking for a particular doctor someone that can understand what you're going through when you talk about sexual gender and it being a minority and to know that or to be able to, I come to you or someone comes to your facility and they're looking for that specialist, someone that's going to understand what they're going through, then you all can in turn connect them with the experts who can deal with the conversations and help them to be able to explain what's happening with their bodies and and what they're going through. I also read a study that mentioned, because last month we were talking about mental health with with, um, Dr. Davis, and one of the things that I read about was the suicide rate within the community and uh, that lets us know that that stigma is real. It is. That we as a, as a community, as a family, are not dealing with and addressing what these individuals are going through. Unfortunately, um, yes. um, one of my clients told me that um, HIV is not killing us. The stigma is killing us. So it's because people don't it's, really know the difference. Yes. So, and that was, for me, that was like, oh, my goodness. I mean, you're right. It's the stigma. It's the, 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 the I mean, um, I think that we need to learn. We need respect. We need to um, be more open. And I, I think that when we're afraid of something and then when we learn about it, we are losing that, you know, being afraid or you know we are accepting more people we are respecting i don't have to be agree with you right i have to respect you know Absolutely. your opinion being. my opinion so we need to learn about that this is not about just uh, you know because unfortunately stigma is you know um affect everybody mm-hmm. Everybody is uh, not just because um, you're living with HIV or, or because you are, you know, gay um, or um, transgender or even, you know, just because I'm Hispanic. Um, so right. um, it's affecting everybody in a different kind of way. AIDS does not discriminate. No, definitely not. So I, I think that the, the um, and again, um, we're talking about education, education, education. Ed, uh, you know, people need to be educated. And if you don't know um, something, well, um, again, come to us, go to internet. Don't, don't, don't talk just because you uh, know. Get the facts. Be informed. Get well, the well, Monica, facts. Well, Monica, what's your what's the website? Uh, we have a. Uh, Thap, T-H-A-P, on dash. Oh, so they can just go to the Thap group. Uh-huh. Um, and we are okay. under, you know, the same uh, website. So Synergy yes. is under mm-hmm. there, and they can click on Synergy yes. and come directly yes. to you. If they wanted to call, what's your number? 813-626-4926. Again? 813 813-626- Four nine two six. Four nine two six. I mm-hmm. think that's Steps primary line, so they'll yes. be transferred. Yes, to, and to um, synergy. yes, and and again, I mean, we are all certified. We are all counselors. We are all. I mean, so we have a uh, really good information there. So if you have, it, 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 it's not a silly question, or it's no, never, never. Take them all. Yes. So you mentioned about what Synergy has been doing and working in the community for the last thirty plus years, and so now I believe a year ago you are awarded the Plus Me. When you say plus me, the plus me project, define what that means. Okay, when we're talking about plus me, we're talking about inclusion. Very good. Inclusion. You, me, him, her, everybody. Don't leave me out. No. We are on this, all of us. So, inclusion. 
inclusion. So make sure that, so when we're having the conversation, it reminds me of our marketing guru, um, Diva J, that comes here. And she always say, I'm in the room. See me. I'm in the room. So when I hear you, am I hearing music in my oh. ear? <laughs> It's time for a commercial break. And again, we want to say thank you to our Facebook family. Thank you to all of you that are tuning in. We're here with Let's Talk Business with SJC as we're giving out the blueprint for the Synergy Health Group, which is an arm of the FAP group. We're here with Monica Herrera and Charles Ware, and they'll be back after the break. Thank you. Okay, so we get to wave at a few more people. My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I uh, got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college you know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than one million jobs in only five years, and a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. This is Linda Archie with Taya Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month, beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me, 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Thank you so much for tuning in to Let's Talk Business with SJC. We are live on In Touch News, In Touch News Radio. It is a call-in show. The number is 813-444-9588. Even if you don't feel like calling in today, you will be able to catch the show in its entirety. Go to in-touch news and there you will be able to find the show and you can listen a little more carefully to what our guests are talking to us. And and as we were on our commercial break, I, my first thought went back to when Mr. Blue was on the show exactly a month ago. He was so excited. The FAP group put on an amazing wall what they call the black wall street experience and you all you all were here mm -hmm. and they put on five events and i'm going to say within 24 hours because the friday night premiere started that friday june 14th the saturday morning entrepreneur and real estate breakfast and from there it was the small business expo then a 2 p.m. matinee for the youth to see the stage play Black Wall Street. And the encore was at 7 p.m. The whole entire THAP group, other volunteers and members of the community. So I'm going to say on behalf of the THAP group and its CEO, Mr. Derek Blue, can I get a hand clap shout out? Yeah. It was the community that came out i mean each event that was hosted here had exceeded 100 plus individuals at, at one instance we were at 160 for for the dinner and then you come back to the we could only handle maybe about 100 110 for the breakfast but it was a packed house the thap group could not and its sponsors uh title sponsor wells fargo other sponsors we had wtmp we had the tampa bay bbic we had um, 
let's see, a couple of others. And we had some other smaller sponsors with um, Next Level, um, DSI Black Pages. We also had the support of Young and Son, um, on a, on a group of CPA accountants that were all here supporting what we were all trying to do. The Tampa Bay Black Heritage Festival, um, William Sanders with his group here as well. And um, a shout out to the stage, to the stage play, to the writers, to all of those that made that weekend an amazing weekend. We say thank you on behalf of Mr. Derek Blue and the THAP group. So THAP is really making a lot of things happen here. Every third Wednesday, the community is invited to come out and participate in Lunch and Learn. Perhaps you all can come and do one of the segments so we can actually, you know, have those one-on-one -on -one conversations. It's a, it's a subject matter that people may not feel comfortable calling in. But like you say, once we discuss what the stigmas are and dispel those myths we can all get along. Yeah. And once we are informed and know better about a people, about a situation, about a group, about a diseases, we can all live and function better. So we're going to hear from the experts. Yes, you heard it, $100 million. Now, I don't know how much of the one million made it this far south, right. but it was enough that you all were able to put together this entire project. You went out, hired more staff, you put them through a rigorous training program. Tell us a little bit about how you pulled all of that together. Maybe let's hear from Charles. <laughs> Charles in charge. <laughs> hello, hello again. Um, so I joined the team with that uh, March, actually. Okay. Um, I had a chance to go through my interview and they told me about the pilot uh, project with Plus Me. Yes. It was so exciting. Uh, knowing that, you know, I've been a part of the community advocating for the rights of people living with HIV for 13 years, well over 13 years now. So you. having that involvement, hearing what, you know, kind of program this is, knowing the involvement and the opportunity just to bridge a gap between, and it's all inclusive, like Monica said, joining the person living with HIV the providers that give the care, the community leaders, their friends and loved ones, to bring them all in, educate them, and bring experiences where they can really can celebrate. You know? I just want to make sure we got the camera on you. Guys. Yes, and celebrate together, learn mm -hmm. together. And we don't have the person living with HIV that's Oscar and I's, uh, dying silently of shame and guilt and feeling dirty and feeling like there's nowhere for them to go. No one, no shoulder to lean on, you know, and no one want to feel in that or be in that situation because it could happen to anyone. Absolutely. It's the simple act of love that so many people has joined this fight against HIV. So we're we're making a huge impact in in being able to come on this radio station oh. and join you and thank you so much again You're you know You're and welcome. Derek Blue having the heart and the desire to uh you know just really scratch out and reach to people yes. that aren't being fed you know like our HIV uh people living with HIV community and there's such a need and, and with stigma I think with stigma Specifically, uh, that turnaround and the language changing is something that we're addressing majorly too. Changing the language and not allowing uh, people living with HIV to be identified with those terms that are hateful. Okay. And uh, it, it, it shows our decreased their value as a person or a human being. No one want to be considered infected. If you look at the definition of infected and to call someone infected, there's really horrible, you know, uh, and the Urban Dictionary doesn't really give a great dis so you, description. You wanna, so you all now have this platform with the Plus Me. 
so you can go and educate the community. So do you put on workshops and you invite the community or family members to come in? Tell us a little bit about what you're doing with the funds that have been provided for you. You were also doing some of these things alone with just being a part of the Synergy Healthcare Group, correct? But now you can, I'm thinking, do more, reach more. Absolutely. How, how is that working? So the initiative calls for us to develop 30, by the end of the this pilot, okay. 30 People living with HIV, we have the opportunity to get them into training, uh, educated, and basically to develop the talents that they're born with and naturally gifted with. We're developing, enhancing those by bringing in uh, people like Toastmasters, that yeah. agency. And I, I believe they're located there. here, too. Yes, yes. Yes, they are. So great. The talk of 5508. Yes, amazing. So if y'all can come out, join Toastmasters. That's open for anyone. But uh, we decided to go ahead and collaborate with them, with Plus Me and all the individuals signed up. And that training, also we do entrepreneurship training. Uh, great. Working around uh, portfolio building, self-image building. Um vision board decision making and we kind of we kind of basically trying to change the person destroy everything they know about themselves almost okay. help them and show them a different future with the gifts and talents that they already have so what i'm hearing is once you identify what that medical need is and make sure that they're receiving the proper medical care um, being prescribed the proper medication and now they're healthier they're doing better and you're taking the approach of a holistic person and saying now you've gone through a lot and based on what you've gone through or how you've been affected by the community here's some other ways we can help you become a full functioning um, adult in the community if your desire was to go and teach you I'm hearing you can help them with that training if they are aspiring entrepreneurs you can help them with that training so plus me is quite the project <laughs> it, it is, is. It and, gives, and, and, yeah. and plenty of resources very much so it gives the person living with HIV an opportunity to monetize off of their talents they give and the training and skills that we are and we'll be you know developing them with okay well how long is the program and how long do you have to ready the 30 candidates very good so <laughs> uh we started this year with the pilot okay. uh, i joined the team march, in march and the recruiting began then because in it march. took the, in, in march it took implementing all the structure of the program and us actually coming to the table me monica Derek, blue and the rest of the team kind of developing and shaping what we want the desire, you know, for the program to be. The structure was there, but with it being a pilot, we had so much room to really, uh, like working That's with right. Toastmasters, mm -hmm. utilizing the collaborators that are here at 5508. So it kind of, it's a win-win all around. We are able to link the individual who joins the the Bless Me program, okay. we're able to give them all linkage. It doesn't matter if they're artists, a uh, rapper, singer, uh, cook. We really want to take those tools, teach them the business aspects of it, how to become a better citizen in society. If there's things okay. by their, their past don't really have nothing to do with it. It's identifying who you are, understanding that there's room for change, and then allowing us to help assist them with that. Well, I, that's great to hear. Um, you, so 30 individuals. My next question would be, and, and Monica, you can certainly chime in on this one. My next question would be, it's a pilot. It is. Part of the objective is to identify 30 individuals. Where do you go to find the individuals? Who wants to take that question? Um, it's um, everywhere. I mean, I think They're that I, we need... Um, they need to understand that this is a different perspective. So we want them to be ready because, again, as um, we're asking for the people living with HIV mm -hmm. to be ready to do to get that step, the the next step, the next step. in their life. 
Okay, so we, that's what we're going to help them, you know, to, okay, you're ready. And if you're not ready, we're going to get, get you ready. ready for this. <laughs> and then we're going to jump together. Okay, jump okay? together. Like so that. we are, yes, so we are, um, how I see is that we are educating our next leaders. So you're, you you have this platform right now today. You're talking to, you're right here on In Touch News Radio. We are heard all over the world, just okay. not here in the Bay Area. And so perhaps even though you all are taking charge of the Southeast mm -hmm. region, people can now reach out to their family members and say, hey, I heard on Let's Talk Business with SJC today about the Plus Me project. Reach out to their family members, contact you because have you filled your 30 slots actually the great thing about it we in our first month and a half we signed up eight participants Ooh, congratulations! <laughs> that's amazing since then 18 so we haven't quite reached the 30 point so there's definitely room so yes if you know anyone living with hiv there they have a desire to change the quality of their life they have the skills to they want to just be better they want to know more about what's going on with them they want to make a difference in their community reach out to us you know come on board get involved in your own community and you can help influence things like politics here in your community the services the quality of care that we receive as people living with hiv in the community uh, there's just so many opportunities to, with that, having this yes. access, you'll be able to really tap into grants, tap into uh, starting up business, you know, loans and opportunities like that. There's so many. Th the sky's the limit the at this point. Limit. So you're you're offering a lot to the individuals. Is there a stipend for them? Is there a fee to, to join? I mean, what, what do you do to keep them there? So working on the scratcher of Plus Me, if you know how, I'm sorry. It's so exciting. I, I really love this no, part of it, just energy. talking about this. You do your thing. <laughs> but with working with Plus Me, and it's a pilot, so we've looked at it several ways. I'm talking about we flip this thing, and we come to the board. Me and Monica, we meet daily almost. Uh, just to talk and how can we make this work? How can we make this fit? Will it fit? Is it something now or later? You know, okay. so in doing that, we brainstormed and found that. Is that music in my no. ear? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the last go around. Am I correct? <laughs> We're, we're, oh my goodness, we'll that's right. what happens when you have so much information yes, in order to, so I take this opportunity to say a special thank you to our guest, to Monica Herrero, who is the director of the Synergy Group, and to Charles Ware, who is the outreach specialist. We want to take this opportunity to say thank you. It's like I mentioned to, to, to our uh, DJ CEO, you all could have a show of your own. <laughs> So before the music just completely goes out, um, thank you to our Facebook family. Thank you to those of you that tune in every Tuesday. We're all about being all up in your business. This segment was about your health business, learning more about HIV and AIDS. But happening right here with the THAP group, the Plus Me Project. The THAP group has been awarded a grant, a pilot grant, to be able to tap into our community, identify 30 individuals whose lives they can change. But I want to make sure it's free for them. It's free it for is. them, it totally. Is. It's free for it them. Is. But you're providing an opportunity for them to be able to in incorporate an income stream Yes, monetize off of their life story. You heard it right here. Monetize, monetize off of their life story. The oh, so yes. now they're getting to tell their story to Synergy, and that story is being published, and, the and they're being paid oh, for. Y'all yeah. yeah. better call yeah. the Thap Group right call now. Call now. Yes. Make sure you go to the Thap Group website, yes. and you'll find Synergy. And from Synergy, click on the information and reach out to Monica or Charles. I'm sure they'll come to you if needed. Absolutely. Again, thank you. Thank you for joining us thank today. You. Important information and letting the community know that as a family, we all need to love on each each other when we know about a situation a little better then we can be better at what we do again we say thank you thank you facebook family it's a wrap let's talk business with sjc happy fourth of july stay safe 
love on your family, and we'll see you back on the second hour of Let's Talk Business with SJC. Signing off. Woo! <laughs>